Hey guys, RPM here. Hope y'all doing well, having a really great day. In this video, I need to change the thermal pads on a RTX 3080 Ti. And funny thing, I know it says EVGA RTX 3080 Ti, but I don't know if some of you guys remember, I did a video of changing the BIOS on this NO3D iChill X3 3080 Ti to an EVGA BIOS, which helped it unlock getting it from like 72 mega hash up to like 90 to 91 mega hash when we were doing it in Hive OS. And so I have it on my test rig now in Windows and I can achieve it getting about 88 to 90 mega hash using the Nvidia driver 496.49 in Windows. And so really the biggest thing for me in this video is I don't like seeing this 100 degrees Celsius on the memory temp on the 3080 Ti. And so I'm hoping to see if we can lower this a lot and maybe get a little bit better mega hash number on this 3080 Ti. So I'm gonna be using gprisers.com thermal pads, 20 watt per meters Kelvin thermal pads. And you guys have seen me change plenty of them before, but I'm gonna time lapse it. And so before we begin, this video is sponsored by Octaminer. If you guys are looking for Octaminer server cases for high efficiency and also great for managing the heat in a small enclosed space for your GPUs. If you guys are looking for one, check out their X12 Ultra and also their X8 Ultra Plus. You guys have seen me review those before. And at the end of this month, March 30th to 31st, they will have a minimum order quantity of one. You'll be able to purchase just one or two or a couple if you need and not the original MOQ of five. And so link down below if you guys are interested to Octominer.com. Okay guys, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna turn this rig off, take the 3080 Ti out, and we're gonna change the thermal pads, and I'm gonna time lapse it, so I'll see you guys on this table. Let's go. Okay, that took me, I think like an hour and a half just to take this thing apart and change the thermal pads and clean it up. Oh my God, I had such a hard time taking off the existing old thermal pads. I had to use a toothbrush and isopropyl alcohol, 99%, just to clean the damn thing. It was, you guys saw the thermal pads in the time lapse. They were like stuck on there and I couldn't use simple tissues, I had to use this toothbrush and isopropyl to really clean it and get rid of the 
uh, original thermal paste or sorry thermal pads I, I kind of felt like thermal paste actually but anyways oh my god there we go it's all done and I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys I did take breaks in between changing the thermal pads uh, just cleaning it all up uh, during the time lapse I guess it wasn't really a time lapse as I took breaks but here we go I hope it was worth it oh in case some people were wondering I used two millimeter thermal pads the GPU risers two mil version throughout the whole GPU okay okay guys let me go ahead and plug this into the test bench and we'll see the results okay just started to bind and let's see what the memory temp is or the uh, I guess GPU temp as well after changing the thermal pads one thing I noticed on the GPU itself the thermal pads are kind of oozing out a bit I think the 2 mil on the front is probably not the size that we need on the front I think we need at least I think 1 mil or maybe 1.5 mil as the GPRisers.com thermal pads are easily able to be compressed. So uh, they're pretty, they can be squished pretty easily. And so I noticed that there's a lot of excess thermal pad coming out of the side, but there we go. Look at that, 90 mega hash. Okay, so it's about the same mega hash that we were getting before, but the biggest thing here is the temperature. 51 degrees Celsius, 84, 86 on the C now, 86 degrees on the memory temp. So it, it just started obviously, so I'm going to let this go for, I don't know, another 10 minutes and we'll see what the result is. Be right back. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes in and yeah, the temperatures have, I guess, equalized at around, and in terms of the memory temp, at most 90 degrees Celsius. That's pretty good. That's really good. On the 3080 Ti, the NO3D. All right, that is good. Okay, I'm. You know what? That I'm really happy that I've been changing thermal pads recently. You guys know, I did another one. My Zotac 3080 uh, non-LHR. This is actually the LHR 3080 Trinity, and you can see here Zotac's LHR GPUs are are actually pretty good though I don't know it's because we're not mining at 100% unlock right this is LHR at 74.4 so we're getting 75 76 mega hash on this LHR 3080 so I wonder if this thing is actually we could try dual mining actually you know what let me try that I'm gonna get this to dual mine and see if the temperatures would go up any higher but I don't know it wouldn't be using 100% of the GPU anyway uh, in terms of the memory you guys can let me know about that but look at this the 3080 Ti though it's it's doing well it's doing really good 90 degrees Celsius I mean I feel like it could be better it is fluctuating from 90 to 88 I guess the same goes to the 3080 when I was talking about LHR that this 3080 Ti is also not running at its max 100% like true unlock. Let me try dual mining and let's just see the results. Be right back. Okay, we are dual mining Ethereum and Ton on the 3080 and 3080 Ti and the temperatures are definitely way up there. So let me show you the 3080. It's at 52 and about 82 on the mem so that that's okay but my 3080 ti it's it's gone up a bit more 64 degrees and 84 on the mem 86 on the mem so as we're dual mining ethereum and ton it's utilizing 100 percent of the graphics card and yeah it looks like it is a little bit hotter so that's great i mean i mean that's not good but as we all know, dual mining does take more of the graphics card, so that is, uh, that's a given. Anyways, guys, I, that's what I wanted to test in this video mainly. Changing the thermal pads though, overall, definitely worked on this 3080 Ti. And yeah, it's, the, the GPU core temp is a little bit higher than I want. Maybe, yeah, I'm thinking the thermal pads, I probably could have used the shorter, like 1 mil or 1.5 mil then it might have more direct contact to the GPU die. But overall, 
Overall, I think this is good, guys. I think this is good. Let me know your thoughts. That's the end of the video. Let me know your thoughts, guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out. I love these thermal pads. GPRisers.com. I can't wait for your 1 mil or maybe 1.5 mil, 2.5 mil versions. That I need to do on a lot of GPUs.